Okay, so. My name's Ellie. Ellie. Um, I'm Wesley. I'm James. And I'm Kestra, and um, we're the Bronikies. We're the Boundless Bronikies. We're an RV family. <laughs> we hit the road a year ago, um, and we've hit 31 different states and no end in sight. Basically, kind of sat down, said this is something, especially with these kiddos, like having, a, having the time with them and being able to travel the world and just kind of live <laughs> on our own. And we didn't think we were gonna go this long, but now um, that the kiddos love it and we've kind of figured out this whole RV lifestyle, it's, it actually really fits us. Plus so, we sold all our furniture and all our stuff. We sold so. everything, so <laughs> this is it. We're, we're in it now. <laughs> So we, we homeschool. Do you love homeschool? Yeah, and I like to make things. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a budding inventor and a, and a singer. <laughs> scientist. Oh, scientist. scientist. Sorry, she changed her mind. <laughs> I, for me, I think it's seeing all the different states. I really feel like going across the Gulf, coming up the East Coast, that I, I feel like I've visited different countries. Like yeah. when, especially like when we started going through some of the South, you, the, the, some of those Cajun accents. The Cajun accents <laughs> change up, the food changes, the environment changes. So seeing all the different states, um, swimming with manatees was one of our highlights. A lot of the springs, what about you, Bada? Um, I, really, I really like um, figuring out um, what, uh, how other people do things and uh, like seeing all these other places like Niagara Falls. That was one of my favorites. Oh yeah. Oh, What's yeah. your favorite thing, Ellie? My room. Your room? What color is your room? Pink. It's, it's pink. pink. <laughs> huh? We painted her room pink. Um, a little bit away. So um, we first got on social media and I had actually started an account um, that was kind of a mom account and it was fun and I was sharing stuff and then when we hit the road after a few months we were like well we're really putting a lot of RV stuff on here so it would kind of make more sense since it's not just me doing it anymore that we would you know transition into an RV account. We started putting up more content and sharing more things and we realized that we really had a lot to share and I mean I'm always super impressed with the work that you do and the repairs and the upgrades but once you look back at all the things you've done and you realize that you can kind of help other people through your experiences, because we utilized a ton of that. Before we hit the road, we followed a bunch of different accounts that we were like, oh, here's how you sell all your stuff. Here's how you do this. Here's what you look for in your RV and make sure you have these things for safety. And then, you know, we looked back at our first few months and we were like, well, we've broken a stabilizer. We've hit a bear. We've hit a deer. We broke a cable on our slide and we've Broke repaired up. all those things and, and our window oh yeah our truck window exploded on the freeway so well, we, uh, what i found too is like when we started the boundless bronikis just a few months ago there were so many people that were reaching out to us and asking us because we kind of looked like the rv professionals out here in the influencer world and now that we really know that our tr our trailer our home on wheels is actually our home we wanted to um kind of beef it up and make it a little safer. So what brought us to Moride was a lot of the components that the aftermarket components that can go on our trailer, the suspension and the shackles for one. We've seen a lot of families over this last few months just alone in the RV community that have busted a shackle on the road, not knowing how skinny those things are. Um, so safety for me, for our family is, is really number one. So getting some of those aftermarket parts that are gonna make our life a whole lot safer out there on the road, especially with the suspension. But then we got some other other items like the, the stairs are gonna be a huge upgrade for us. cargo tray I really like because we had it on the fire engines it's the same ones that pulls all the way out and you and you don't have to get inside your trailer like sometimes it's it's a hassle to get underneath that basement but with that slide out trailer it's going to make our life so much easier and it's just it's just a nice thing to have 
Coming to More Ride, there it's almost like a one-stop shop for us. Like I didn't, we didn't have to go to five different manufacturers to get all of these different components. Mm -hmm. We're doing it here. I think the pin box will be another one, oh, the rubber pin, pin box. box. When you travel that much, which it's crazy now when we look back and we, we look at the map and everywhere that we've gone, but roads are so bad. Like there are some roads that are so bad and I know that more than once I've probably <gasps> at a different bump we've gone over or, and sometimes you can't avoid stuff. like. He's really good if there's potholes or different things trying to avoid it, but when you're driving up I-95 through New York and New Jersey, there's nowhere to go. You hit some of that stuff and you can't avoid it. And so knowing that we'll have a more secure suspension, the pin box on there that takes some of that impact. We did a bunch of upgrades to our truck, um, like adding the airbags on that. And it just, it makes your drive safer and easier and the more confident you can be while you're towing. Yeah.